Hey guys, it's Justin again with another uh, unboxing video. Uh, this is going to be sort of quick. Uh, I'm actually running a little bit late for work. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, this is the 1 to 20 scale magnifier RX 78 GP series GP04G. Um, now, this box is awful. Um, it's actually in bad shape, but uh, the English on this box is my favorite. It says at the top, uh, in fact, RX 78 GP series type 04G is such an ordinary weapon which never even appeared before, so that few people can still remember it today. However, it's turning point to me because the original impulsion to create to which is Black Plume, imprint the bones and inscribe on the memory. I don't know what that means. And then here at the bottom, it says, Actually, RX-78 GP series type 04G didn't appear in 0083, which made it great memory to us, as is AGX-04 Jabara Tetra transformed type 04G at first. Designer tried to make a new robot named 04G, which has high speed and more aggressive ability, but the latest type GP-01 full burner has the same function, Consequently, the GP, the Type 04G remained on Blueprint only. Another transform type of RX GP series Type 04GP or 04G is AGX 04A1, which appeared in GFF. Uh, it's fig fixed figuration. Is the redesigned equipment from RX 78 GP series Type 04G by Katoni Majuki. I don't know who that is. I hope that means Verka. That would be hilarious. Um, <clears throat> anyway, on the box here, we have a wonderful shot of the GPO4 head uh, from the side with some open hatches on the top and the side. Uh, the back is also open as well, um, which is one of the huge appeals with this kit for me is I love opening hatches. Uh, on anything, but especially lots of inner detail on these heads. On the top of the box we've got front side and frame shots of the kit. Uh, the front, the only gripe I've got right now is that the face is a little bit, just a little bit smushed. Not very much, just a little. Uh, but it's not a big enough deal for me to have to worry about it. Uh, but the profile on the side looks really good and all the internal detail looks fantastic. Um, on the bottom, we've got uh, a nice angled shot, some of the opening hatches, some more opening hatches, more opening hatches, more opening hatches, and more opening hatches. So, it's safe to s assume that there's going to be a lot of detail packed into this box. Um, now, I ordered this from Taobao, and uh, it wasn't a bad service, it was just really weird to use, um, but I don't plan on using it again for Gumpla. I'm just going to wait till Samuel or somebody gets it in. Uh, my decals actually came out of the box, and they were, like, taped to the side, so they're bent, which, since they're water slides, it's not a huge deal, but, uh, you know, come on, guys. Um, <clears throat> anyway, in our bags here, we've got our first plate. These are poly caps. They're really, really, really peculiar looking. Um, as most polycaps frequently are, but uh, nothing fancy to, to look at there. Next, we have runner... Okay, okay. This is molded in red, and these are mostly vent pieces. Here's the crest for the V-fin, the mouth guard, and then other just various details. There's the chin piece. I don't know what the rest of this is, but it's detailed, so uh, I can only assume that these go somewhere in the head rather than the chest or neck area. <coughs> Next we've got E. E is in like a, a flat charcoal, really dark gray. These all look like some sort of hinge or joint type piece. Uh, they all look like they move, especially when they've got these little ball things on the end. You can just assume that it's going to do some sort of moving. Uh, so. 
Next is another charcoal gray type liner. This is B. Uh, B has got the eye mask piece because the eyes are molded separately. Pop those in when you're done. Uh, some flat pieces right here with a little bit of sink marks to be easy to fix. Uh, this is probably the collar, I think, or sort of part of the base. These are definitely part of the base. Um, just lots of big chunk pieces here. This is probably just going to be structural stuff, nothing that moves, just static pieces, basically. <clears throat> then we have D1. Now, these are definitely uh, the top and bottom halves to, uh, like, the, the chest section, like the big chunk of... Uh, you know, chest piece that there is, and it's actually asymmetrical. It's kind of weird. I believe that might just be for the LED or something like that, but uh, it's not symmetrical. So I'm curious to see how they cover that up. Uh, but the bottom half is symmetrical. <clears throat> Next up is L. It's a very small blue runner. Uh, these are pretty much pieces just for the chest. I don't think there's any blue on the head itself, but uh, it's a really nice neutral blue. Uh, I actually kind of like it. Um, I'll probably paint it something similar to this. Um, of course, shaded, but you know. Then we have the uh, battery pack. It's two AA batteries, I believe, Dave said. Uh, but it actually looks a little small, so it might be AAAs. And then we've got a metal piston on a plastic ball joint here. That's for the neck. Next we have M, and there's more like static pieces. These might swing around or they probably connect to one another. Something like that. These probably plug into the back of something. This definitely plugs into the back of something. Uh, and then we've got two probably go on the side of something. I don't know, some of these are harder to judge because they, they kind of go a little crazy on detailing so you don't know what goes where. Uh, this is more than likely the block for the head. All this. Um, but lots of mechanical detail in there, and it's going to be a lot of pain to detail that. Uh, I don't know how much detail I'm going to put into this, but uh, I'm going to put as much as I can stomach to. Uh, next we have H. This is our first white runner, and this is the side pieces to the head, more side pieces. I believe this is probably to the base, or maybe the internal to the face mask, something like that. And these are also to the sides of the head. Lots of little, little its and bits, uh, vents and stuff like that. Uh, GT is a clear green. Uh, like Dave said in his unboxing, it's a very olive green. Uh, it doesn't really look that way on camera, it just looks like a clear green, but it's very, very olive-y. Uh, I'm not too crazy about it, but I'm sure when the LEDs are shining through it, it'll look fine. Um, uh, C. We are back to the charcoal gray type color. Um, again, lots of this kind of stuff. Um, heat sinks, vents. That's for the V fin, definitely. Uh, inner detail for the head. Head. These are the vents on the side of the head. Oh my God. Um, other little bits all over the place. We have our last smoke gray runner. These are the other pieces for the V fin, I believe. These are caps, which those will go on. Um, some hinge pieces. These are probably for the opening hatches on the head, uh, more joints and things like that, probably just some stuff to reinforce some of the white plastic, another heat sink, more caps, more covers and things like that. We have G, G is, uh, this is definitely for the head, more vents, back of the head, all kinds of stuff around there. It's probably for the Mohawk, I believe. Um, so. And then finally, we have Jet for Justinian's build. 
Um, these are the covers for those weird looking pipe, pipe things. Here's the antenna. More head stuff. The V-fin is actually molded in two separate pieces because it can fold it in and out. Uh, here's the Mohawk cameras. It's got uh, EFSF molded on it. I might actually get rid of that. Maybe. It's actually not that bad looking. It looks way worse in the in the 3D renderings. Uh, but just lots of white pieces. Here's the faceplate. Uh, again, you can see that kind of extreme bend, but really not that bad. This is the front of the camera. And then we have our, um, wow, uh, quite the large decal guide. It is huge. Uh, it's rather immense. It shows the kit from multiple angles. <laughs> Then our instruction manual is just plain paper. Nothing too snazzy, but it looks really nice. Uh, lots of fancy stuff. Shows how to wire in your LED. Uh, I believe I'm going to skip this on the first go around. Uh, <clears throat> that way I can get it snapped up for review. Actually, no, I'm not because I want to show the LED in the review. So, you guys are in luck. But this thing looks like it has some pretty nice engineering in it, and considering it's not a, uh, it's not based off a of resin or anything, this is actually completely original, uh, which is really cool. Uh, I'm a sucker for anything that's completely original like this. Uh, the resin recasts have been pretty nice, but this actually looks really solid and from what I hear it actually goes together pretty well uh, there's some texture that I'm gonna have to deal with but when you're dealing in third party that's to be expected um, but anyway that is my unboxing of the GPO 3G uh, or the GPO 4G excuse me uh, head bust um, hopefully I'll be able to get this thing snapped up in the next couple days and get a review up for you uh, so be looking forward to that. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.